The sugar beet harvest is underway. It's an intense time for growers, their employees, and the businesses that support them. Emily Beal talked to some who go out of their way to help growers in this week's Ag Week cover story. I know how important it is to keep these machines running and, and to keep everybody moving along and get the harvest done. Christian Keel builds and repairs beet harvester row finders. It's a family business started by his grandfather in the 1950s. He's also a beet grower, so he understands the pressures of the harvest. It rolls around the clock until all the beets are out. It's amazing. We're a big family, and uh, we all, up and down the valley, we always take care of each other. I just pray that everybody stays safe and goes home at, at the end of the day at the, when we get done with harvest. Norman County Implement of Ada, Minnesota, runs two crews around the clock during harvest to be ready for breakdowns anytime. They never happen on schedule. The nice thing is this is what builds trust with the with our clientele. Continually, uh, seven days a week, and I, I couldn't say 24 hours a day, but they do call me in the middle of the night if they do have a breakdown, and I go out and fix it. It gets kind of hectic. Even the Subway restaurant Ada stays open around the clock during the sugar beet campaign. Agriculture is so important for our, you know, our business. You know, they do business with me all year, so it's kind of a thank you to them to, you know, give back to them for what they give to me all year round. You know, we try to try to keep everybody happy. It doesn't always work, but we try. It's clear to see that some local businesses are dedicated to going the extra mile during sugar beet harvest season with Ag Week. I'm Emily Beal in Ada, Minnesota. You can read more in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Thanks for watching Ag Week on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We post new videos every Saturday.